And then I'll put on the speaker view first. Jimbo来的,现在就要在YouTube上面看直播了,因为我们 其实就在我们的那个，我们专门有个频道，其实它就在我们频道上，嗯，那个就看就可以，呃，就直接上我们的频道就可以。好，现在我把链接给您私人发过去了，啊，我也可以放一下我们的那个，呃，放一下我们的
呃不知道的可能是他这些呃运动员生涯的这些成绩和辉煌。所以现在就让我们。呃，以热烈的掌声欢迎赖建慧老师给我们做精彩的讲座。So let's put our hands together for the uh, uh, excellent. Uh, well, we expect the excellent um, lecture by Master Lai. Okay. Enough, please. Well <laughs> okay. Uh我一下子中英文有点转不过来。呃呃，大家好，那个非常，我首先非常想感谢就是李老师，呃，促使让我讲这个讲座，不然可能我呃今年都不会在这里讲啊，先感谢李老师。We are full. She can't get in yet. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank um uh. Faye for this opportunity to share um, the teachings with you. Um, it, without Faye, I would probably never do this uh, lecture. Okay. Uh, the other thing, today's teacher may be very hard. I still want to thank you. Okay. So she said, um, um, I will say thank you again to Faye because today she will be uh, working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let, let's make a start. Right, the title for today's lecture is called How the Key. Oh, one moment. I'll just, I'll just switch back my screen. Okay, so today's the title for our lecture is the key requirements in health Qigong practice. My lecture. I'd like to ask you a question. Well, the question is, why do we practice Qigong? And today I'd like to make a, use two examples to explain why we need to practice Qigong. Let's have a look at the two pictures. So uh, it's obvious to us, I'm sure, the first picture on the left corner is a very tidy and all the uh, is orderly room, whereas the second picture on the right is a messy room. Isn't that right? So, 给你这两个房间，你会选哪一个？So so which room would you prefer? 我相信很多人都还喜欢，会喜欢选第一个很干净的、很很舒适的房间，对吧？ I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, will choose the clean and tidy room. Okay. 好，那么我们再思考一下，如果这个房间是你的身体的话。so let's have a think. If this room is your body, So which room would you like to your body to become or your body to be in? So I think everybody would prefer to, to choose the clean and tidy room for your body. And because of that, don't you feel comfortable 
and your body will feel comfortable if you're in such a environment. So, now we can think about if we have a very uncomfortable situation, it's very likely that your body is being affected. So as you can imagine or have a think, if our body um, in the room or it is the room, it's a messy um, state of affair. So the discomfort of your body, you can imagine the discomfort or um, un feeling unwell that how your body would, would feel. So, 每当这个时候，你就会干嘛？身体不舒服的时候，你会干嘛？可能你第一个想法就是我去找医生。When you're feeling unwell or ill, what would you do first thing? Would you go to a doctor? 那有没有想过我自己先去了解自己的身体 ？Have you thought about try to think and understand your body first? 尝试跟自己的身体去对话 ，and try to have a conversation and dialogue with your your body. 所以，如果说你能够跟跟他很好的沟通 ，a um good conversation or communication dialogue with your own body, and you understand your body, your body will um function and behave better. 所以我们现在经常讲一句话，就是了解你的身体，并且善待它。So that's one thing I often say is to、uh, understand your body and to be kind with your body. Okay. 啊，我们再来看第二个比喻。Let's have a look at the second example. 大家看这一排的杯子，现在摆放是非常有序的。Now look at the mugs; they're all lined up in order. 想一想，如果你养成了这样的好习惯之后，如果有一天有人进入到你的房间 ，Now if you get used to、uh, organizing your stuff、uh, in an orderly fashion. And imagine if one day someone come in and messes up. 比如说，你的杯子现在是这样放的，然后他进到你的房间之后呢，他动了你的杯子。So you can see she's holding something. If somebody come in and one day and the the position has been moved out of shape. Yeah, 他动了一下你的杯子，他换了一个角度去放。And if, say, for example, the direction changes, 那么你是不是就可以第一时间就发现，哦，有人动了你的东西。And is that true that you will spot the change immediately? 你会发现吗 ？Would you Would you discover that? Would you notice that? 那么我们再换一个角度去看。Well, let's think of another way. 如果你的身体都是很有序的、井然有序的 ，If our the organs in our body inside is all working in orderly fashion， 有一些外来的东西进到你的身体之后，你是不是就能第一时间发现 ？If there's any changes from external environment and entering our body， um， don't you think you will notice that immediately？ 尽早的发现了它，是不是尽尽早的就可以把这个不对的东西把它给调整回来 ？And once you've noticed and become aware of that change, you would be able to adjust it. 所以，为什么要练气功？气功的练习，它就是让我们的身体越来越有序化。So why we practice qigong? The 本来不属于你身体的东西，或者你自己体内不和谐的东西，它的一种变化。So qigong is to bring the order to our body, and to be able to perceive the entry of any foreign 
um, energies perceive and aware of any change. 发现了及时，然后呢，再进行及时的自我调整或者修复，那你的身体就不会有太大的问题。so once we become aware of these changes or imbalance, then we can immediately um, go through some self-adjustment, self-healing, and self-repair. Okay. okay, now let's have a look. The health Qigong that we have practiced, uh, focused most recently. 好，在我们通用的教材里面，我们对健身气功的定义是。Now you can see on the screen the um, official description of health qigong in Chinese and in English. Health qigong is a new development from the traditional sport program that combines physical activity. Breathing and psychological adjustments as the main The health qigong it has the combination of the three emotional um, activities, so covering all of the three cultivation. 那么我们中国的政府现在就以国家的名义推广了十套健身气功，还有一套新的，刚刚推出来的是铃木功。嗯，呃，currently the under the umbrella name of health qigong, there are ten set of sequences or routines being promoted, and that we know very well from uh, are called Ba Duan Jin, Eight Brocade, Six Healing Sound, Five Animal Frolics, and Yi Jin Jing, um, Tender Muscle Changing Classics. And the newer second part, newer part, is a great dance, Da Wu, uh, Ma Wang Dui, uh, Dao Yin Shu, uh, Seated Twelve bro Brocade. And Dao Yin Yang Shen Gong Twelve Methods uh, plus Tai Chi um, Stick uh, Yang Shen Stick Tai Chi Gong. Okay. 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 First is the mind, cultivating the mind, emotion, psychological change. These are the three key aspects of health Qigong. Okay. And we call the three aspects, in short, we call them three cultivations. As you can see, as you can see on the diagram, the first one is the most important on the basis, it's called Shen, cultivating the body posture. The second level is called cultivating the breathing. And the third level up is cultivating the mind. And of course, the, all of these will eventually lead us to the highest level, which is the cultivating the morality. 大家注意刚才我提到了一个词叫最高层级 and with this diagram, we, all, we can also uh, point out, I'd like to point out, the cultivating the body, the posture, is absolutely the foundation of all other levels. So, 
and especially for novice, for beginners um, trying out qigong, we everybody with. And the importance of this cultivating posture body it can be described um, similar to the foundation of a building. The building only safe when you have a good foundation. You can talk about or closely um, cultivate the breathing level. Then uh, the next level up is about cultivating the mind. Once we complete all three levels, that is the body, is the breathing, and the mind, and then we reach to the uh, next, the higher level, called cultivating morality. When we talk about the morality, it's uh, not for what we often think about to be generally a good person. Um, it's a little more profound than that. And this uh, morality in, in, in the sense of cultivation, it refers to for a practitioner or high level of practitioner, um, understand the universal truth between the heaven and earth and the the universe basically the the way universe operates and changes and to be in harmony with it um, of course, the uh, road to a high level cultivation uh, can be many, and this is the, the um, if you like, the path. The three cultivation theory is, doesn't only exist in today, it has been existing for a long, long time, since the Yellow Emperor in the classics. So this is a quote from the uh, an old book called the Yellow Emperor's Classics, in the classics sometimes translated, and there are many chapters. One of the chapters is called the Universal Truths, um, Shang Gu, Tian Zhen Lun, and in there she will explain. Okay, so in that universal truth, Huang Di is the Yellow Emperor. Uh, the Yellow Emperor inquired or asked, I have heard of people in ancient times who spoken of as as the real man, I used the real who knew the secret of universe and held yin and yang, the world, in the palm of their hands. They extracted essence from nature and practiced various disciplines, such as Dao Yin and Qigong, and breathing and visualization exercises to end of a compliment. Uh, a compliment uh, a 
can't say it. <laughs> okay, you got the idea. Draw your attention to this phrase in Chinese called "ji ro ruo yi." What does it mean? 就是你的整个身体其实是不单是肌肉，外到你的筋骨、皮、肉，但内到你的内脏，它是合合一体的。So the meaning of this phrase is in our body, we not only just have the external part, which is the pro, and the external part, and they are part of one, a whole, part of whole. 那么第二个呢，它就是什么？叫呼吸精气。I also like to draw your attention to this phrase, 呼吸精气。那么呼吸精气什么意思呢？其实就是我们的调息。So what does that mean? It means 呼吸 means the breathing, and it's to a breathing adjustment. 而且这里还专门讲叫呼吸精气，它没有其他气，呼吸精气，精气我们可以简单理解为是比较精纯的、好的这种气息。And uh, breathing into 精气, the second part, uh, is 精气 can be translated or understood as a purified qi. 好，那么肌肉用于是调身，呼吸精气是调息。the third phrase I want to draw your attention to is called 独立守神. It's about the mind. Enter a frame of mind that it, in a high degree of, of concentration, and this concentration is for the spirit to be um, uh, uh, in a state of mindfulness in the present moment. So, emperors in the ca uh, classics. They already mentioned about the three cultivations. Cultivations. And so um, in the universal truth, who can achieve this? So according to the yellow um, emperors in the classics, um, Man or human being can be described into four different levels, and the highest level of the four levels is called Zhen Ren. Uh, sometimes uh, here I translate it as a real man, but I also uh, said a Zhi Ren, intelligent man, intelligent, clever man. The next level is Sheng Ren. Sheng Ren is, um, uh, I think it's, um, we can translate it as um, almost um, a saint. In usually we call, uh, in, you know, a Sheng Ren is like a saint. It's a, a better, uh, you know, better. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's much, much more, uh, you know, respected. Uh, we call Shengren saints. They are much more respect, respectful man. Maybe this is a, a good translation. And then mm -hmm. the next level down is uh, what we call just the Fan Ren, right? Oh, Fan Ren. Okay, the next, the fourth level is called Xian Ren. Xian is um, almost, we describe it as a well behaved, well behaved person, um, good, uh, polite. And, and well behaved. So these are the four generally described by the emperor, uh, yellow 
emperors in the classics. So, the real man or the achieved enlightened being will be able to achieve, achieve the three cultivations. So if you have read the, or studied this classic book, um, in there, the, the highest level, uh, you know, a, attainment level, if you like, the real man, uh, what they can achieve is a three cultivation. So if you achieve the three cultivations and you will be then achieved the understanding of the universal truths, you will understand the theory or the changes of yin and some scholar um, described the, the, these three cultivations as the basic form of Qigong. Uh, I personally would, would feel this um, description in the classics would be the original teaching, the uh, original essence of Qigong. 所以三条到底有多重要？我们从黄 find answers from these uh, thousands uh, years treasured classics. 呃，因为时间关系，今天就呃 focus on the three cultivation and uh, won't mention, we won't elaborate uh, on the cultivation of morality. 所以那么我们现在，请大家跟着我来认识三条。Okay, now let's, um, well, uh, let me show you the three cultivations. Okay, so the first and basic level is cultivation of the body. As I said already, this is the basics. Okay. 那么这个身和形，把它拆开来看。第一个身呢，讲的是我们自己的身体；第二个形的话呢，是我们的形体展现出来的各种动作。Okay，调呃调身， okay, uh, cultivating the body. I also call it can be called a uh, unit, uh, the suitable limit. This. Uh, this phrase in Chinese called shen xing. There are two characters in shen and xing. Shen means the, sh the, the anatomy of your body, the actual uh, body parts. Xing means the shape th that we're using the body parts to create a posture. A, between the posture, we have more. <laughs> Body movements and to create a shape coordination between the shape of the body and the posture, the body parts and the shape. So what's the effect of this um, 调, cultivating the body? Uh, the first function of the uh, cultivation, body cultivation, is 引体, 令柔, is to make the body soft. There is a posture called um, reaching the feet to strengthen the kidney. So as you bend and flex forward and downwards, you feel your body slowly, um, you know, leading it to become supple, leading it to become soft. So this is the, um, this is the effect and the function of Qigong, of the shape. 
但练了一段时间后，你发现你能适应这样的要求。At、the beginning, if it, you are new to it, you may feel、um, painful and stretching,、uh, feeling at the back of your legs, back of your calves, and feeling uncomfortable. But over time, when first effect of cultivating the body, because China has a saying called "often a wound, often a scar." Uh, there is an old saying in Chinese: "Is when our ligament being extended one inch,、uh, you can extend your life expand uh, life uh, by ten years." No, my experience is very deep. Ah, just when I was a professional athlete, 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 I I have a real experience with this、um, this softness or flexibility. When I was a、um, professional athlete in training, when I was young, I can stretch with my toes,、um, uh, pull back、um, to my chin,、um, to, to my nose and chin, and I don't feel any discomfort.、Uh, I can sleep in this position, but now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Means I'm getting old. <laughs> You're not old. <laughs> You're not old. You have a young age. So, so I'm now I want to continue to exercise. I want to continue to exercise. So, uh, I hope I hope I can come back to this. Okay, I said she's not old. She's still very young,、uh, and she and then she, she said that's why I have to keep practice. The body becomes soft, then you will find. You will find the、uh, blood and blood circulations and qi circulation. The energy will circulate much more smoothly. So, so this is the second benefit. And this is the second、um, health benefit or functions effect of、uh, body cultivation. And there is another more important thing. What is it? We have a saying. 中国有一句老的练功老话，叫 ，So the all in all, the more more importantly, uh, the aim for body cultivation is that without accurate, this is the old saying, without the accurate movements, the energy flow would not be smooth, and without the smooth flow of energy, the qi. The mind cannot be calm, and without the calmness of the mind, the two arms. We just two arms. We do half hour. Do half hour. After you will find what? Find the tongue is tied, right? So in Chinese, you,、uh, my Chinese friends can read Chinese, so I won't read it here. So. Uh, Uh, say, imagine if you. I use an example. If you are sitting on a chair with your legs crossed、uh, for a while, what do you find? Do you find when you try to stand up,、um, your、uh, your your legs going to sleep,、uh, a little bit numbness in your legs? Do you find that? When you are sitting on a chair, your legs crossed for a while. What do you find? Your legs numbness in your legs. Do you find that? And the reason your legs may feel numbness or、uh, gone to sleep is because the energy flow, or we call it qi xue, is the qi and blood, and doesn't circulate as well. So this qi, qi, 大家要理解一下。第一个气呢是呼吸之气，第二个呢是我们体内之气。再说一遍，我没听清。啊，就大家要理解，我们这里讲行不正的气不顺的气呀、啊，其实是有两个概念的，两两个部分，一个部分呢就是呼吸之气，第二个部分呢就是我们体内气。One meaning is the breathing, our about qi that we breathe, the the、um, the air. The other part is the internal flow of、um, the energy flow within our body. We usually refer to as qi xue, mean qi and blood,、uh, with the blood with energy. 
。所以你保持一个不太正确的姿势，一定时间以后，你的气血不畅，自然就会有麻的感觉。This is why when we are sitting or standing in an incorrect posture for a long time, the we feel the maybe our body parts go to sleep or having start to feel numbness. It's because this qi xue, the energy doesn't flow well. So you practice qigong for a long time, you will find that the qigong is teaching you to teach 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 you to te
from that. And if you uh, let's imagine if one of these nerve um, lines is uh, being uh, cut off or um, it's it's not forming right, it's it's dysfunction. Will happen. Uh, the back, I, the first thing I tried is to press one of the uh, meridians on, on their hands, on the back of the hands, um, and trying to, because it is linked with the, uh, the spine, but uh, they didn't have any feelings at all. This means the, the nerve system has the nerve path has been uh, disconnected, has been damaged. <coughs> so, as we can see from this chart, the health of our and if our spine is out of shape, um, it will inevitably compress the nerve systems. Uh, and very simple examples, if our arms, numbness in your legs, and likewise, if you are starting to feel uh, discomfort or numbness or going to sleep in your uh, have, or having those symptoms in your arms or legs, um, you can you should check out your spinal health, uh, health state of affairs healthy, whether it's problems. Um, as we go through life, uh, we, we all use our spines problem for our spine. 我相信这些动作里面, common mistakes that we make all the time. Okay, in our, uh, especially in this special period of our, uh, our time, uh, we are using spending more time on our phones and on our uh, PCs. So these two pictures uh, are the most common. So, so uh, you can have a think. Do you uh, do you have symptoms like a little dizziness or you know periodically dizziness or um, the tinnitus, almost like tinnitus, but you you hear when you stand up quickly, uh, you hear a uh, ringing in your ears. And, and to uh, another problem, um, symptoms that reflecting a poor problem in the neck is in your shoulder. Uh, quite often, if you feel stiffness in your shoulders, if you have a problem with the sections, the back of your chest, the spines in the back of your chest, then quite often the problem, this is the highlight in the red, red color, by the way. Yeah, so you quite often it affects your heart and lungs. Okay. 
Um, the, the next part of the section uh, in the highlighted, well, it's in the color of white here on the picture, um, is the more or less the most frequently injured area, is the lumbar. Uh, the injuries to this section uh, can cause um, internal um, unwell, can be, for example, uh, digestive systems, um, you know, that you may have runny stomach or maybe constipation or anything related to that uh, similar symptoms. And often uh, women can have um, you know, women problems in, in this area too. Uh, another um, interesting thing here, the health of your lumbar is very closely linked with the health of some knee uh, problem. But um, in fact, it's a the root. <laughs> protect our spine, many chronic disease um, can start in in our body. And so what can we do to protect our spine? This is where uh, cultivating the body comes in. Cultivation. Uh, 